How's it going, Matt? Yeah, not bad. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Another day. Another day in paradise. I'd call it paradise too. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what day it is? Do you know? Yeah, uh, it's Saturday. <laughs> it is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're getting started on body work. So well, essentially, we're just gonna rip some trim off, get the headlights, taillights off, and uh, start sanding. That's uh, going to be quite the project on this vehicle here. Yeah, the, the old Savannah. We're going to uh, pull the taillights out. And you, you wait till we paint that bitch. That's going to look sweet. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> no. It's time to get started. The body kit is finally on its way. I just had to send one very... Uh, I guess you just call it a nasty email. But that's what you have to do these days because nobody wants to actually do their job. You have to bug the shit out of people. In order to get things done. Oh yeah. I think Matt has his own story. Um, yeah, we should. We should be. Yeah, tell him. Oh, how long just that took? Yeah. Right. So, before I show you what we got or what Matt got, he, you waited till for you waited. You ordered in December. In December. And we got it two weeks ago, a week ago. Like a week ago. Okay. Yeah. And it's now June. So. Yeah. So from um, December to June. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's. So that took from December to June. Just some racing gloves, that's all it is. From a from a good old local Canadian company there. Yeah, if uh, if I were you and you were me, I wouldn't use TDOT Performance. I wouldn't do it, just so you know. Yeah. But then again, I just ordered through, <clears throat> we'll call them Smandy's Smoto Sport and uh, for the body kit on this thing, and uh, just as bad. They pretty much, they won't send you it, so. T-Dot is the same as these guys. They won't send you anything unless you bug the shit out of them. It's just the way it is. So, anyway. It's finally on its way. So, we gotta get started on this thing. Still gotta figure some shit out on it, though. Like, are we keeping this? Or are we changing it? I say change it. But Matt thinks change it. Mm -hmm. And then, I do, I'm curious about, I think I'm just gonna take these side skirts off. Because I know there's new ones coming, but I'm, I'm not, I can't even really remember what the, they look like, honestly. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of sand and prep work, a lot of, a lot of bondo work, because there's just dents and things everywhere. But nice thing is though, a little update on the yeah, the engine is back from the uh, uh, machine shop, so. I think the tuner is putting in crank and pistons and the whole thing. Uh, the valve or the intake manifold or the head, I think is, I think they were just cleaning it up and then it was done and he's gonna get it, put all the valve train and stuff in there. So that's pretty sweet. And then we've been talking about go, the fuel system. So we're gonna run it on E85, set it up for E85, um, all radium parts basically. And then, uh, that's about as far as we've got. We haven't really decided what we want to do with turbo yet because it's so tight that we kind of want to get the engine back in and mock some stuff up, the rad and all that shit, and then we'll figure out turbo from there. But uh, she's moving along now, which is good. It's been a little while. So. Yes! All right! Nice and done! <sighs> okay. So we got the rear wiper delete here and... Yeah, we I think we've come to the conclusion already. Conclusion already that we're gonna do a different spoiler. Cause uh, these are not coming out of there. These bolts, those are gonna be drilled out. Whoops. Uh oh. What'd you do? kind of pulling on it they just well let's see how these go then well, you know these ones aren't bad okay well man so I'm surprised not more of these screws break on this car we had one bolt that you snapped yeah I broke it snapped it right in half I did break it 
But I think that's the only one that snapped. They're all looking pretty nice though. They're not too bad. <laughs> not too rusted out. Definitely. Still gotta do the rear shocks. Yes, we do. Fronts, we did. Yeah. The fronts are in there. Coil overs, you know. What's on the bottom that we gotta take off, huh? Let's see. Looks like we gotta take some tires off. Just pulling the bumper off. And, uh,. Every bolt's pretty much just snapped, 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 <laughs> snapped. Every One time. came out. <laughs> Not bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So other than side skirts, she's ready to go for sanding. At eight, mine. That's straight, buds. Somebody drew some nice stuff up what here. What the hell is Ginger? that? What the? Oh, I don't know. That's that's okay. Still not sure, Matt. I'm still not. I'm still not sure on color, buds. You know, like what do you think? What do I think? What do you think for color? I don't know. That copper color would be kind of cool. Oh, I was kind of thinking that too. Mm -hmm. But then we got to do engine bay, trunk, yeah. door jams. Yeah. But if you do any kind of color change, you got to do that anyway. Mm. So I'm not too worried about the engine bay, but door jams for sure in the trunk. Mm -hmm. Engine bay's fact anyway. I should just really just do it like a black or something in there. But yeah, we don't know yet. Yeah. We're going to have to figure it out pretty quick, although the sanding and the prepping is going to take a bit of work, but, you know, yeah. 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 In the car? Okay, you go in the car, and then Matt's going to sand the outside of the car. Get in there. Okay with being in there, or are you gonna freak out? All right, so uh, Matt's doing our first uh, test polish here. Sand away, Matt. <coughs> Sand away. Shouldn't need much because we're just that's probably way too much. It's not like we're doing anything major here, just filling a couple little guys. Close this back up. Whew. Now you want a small ratio. You don't want anything great. Whoa, that's enough right there. <laughs> well, she came out a lot quicker than I expected. Give her a good mixing. You want to mix her in real nice, like, so you get a nice bluey gray color. That was too much hardener, but 
We will get over there and get her on there. Do a nice, and do a nice light coat. Yep, yep, just nice and light like. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now we got a couple dingers on the hood. Nice and light. Woo! Uh, let's get a little bit more on that guy. I feel like she'll she'll eat some of that up. Okay, perfect. How are we feeling here? It's actually not too bad. I think that we'll want to fill. Huh. <laughs> Just came right out of your ass. Hey guys, what's going on? Just wanted to do a quick recap of where we're at with the body kit on the Eclipse. So it is the Battle Z, and I've seen one other video on YouTube, I didn't search too much, but one other video of a guy messing around trying to put one of these things on, and he, w he was cutting bumpers in half and refiberglass and everything, which fairly accurate as far as what uh, we've been able to see so far. So what we've done is mocked everything up. The two, the front and the back bumper are by far the worst, um, just so far off. Like the mold must be absolutely terrible that they're, they're putting this fiberglass into. It's just like the back bumper is, uh, um, it's, it's too narrow, top to bottom is too tight. So it doesn't want to fit in uh, sort of here. It doesn't want to fit on top of like the support rack here and then you got your uh, spots to fasten it on the bottom but it, it's just too tight to fit in there and then the front bumper I mean when we mocked we mocked we mocked it up and between the two headlights there's just a, a massive gap between the bumper and uh, the inside of the headlight so I have a feeling I'm gonna be fiberglassing a piece on either side just to fill those gaps and then even just fitting it side to side is it's almost too big so uh, we're just gonna it's a two-man job so I need another guy here for that but so far I have gotten the side skirts mounted um, as we can see here you know what let's do the other side I did uh, I'm doing it all so the side skirts are gonna be all molded into the car. I didn't want any uh, visible lines. Front and back I'm not worried about, but the side skirts I, I did want to. So, as you can see, um, there was actually, it's a little harder to tell now, but um, there, was a, there was a pretty good gap here in the wheel well between uh, the fender of the car and the kit. So I've fiberglass, I riveted it on, fiberglass and then I'm just going to bond them and we'll sand it down get ready for paint. One of the other gaps I got to deal with that's pretty pretty major is this one. Um, I'd closed the door but I've got uh, I've got fiberglass or um, resin setting so that's going to have to get filled. That's a major like there's no need for that cut to be that wide. So the other section is the back here. So again, there is a massive gap back here. So that one's gonna be a little bit of working around. So we'll get that figured out. Then we're gonna bond all this in. And then this was just, this section was so out to lunch. Like this section came out a good quarter, quarter inch past the edge of the, uh, quarter panel here, so that I had to cut that all off uh, Which left a gap down below which is whatever. That's why this has been fiberglass back in um, And again, this is all just get all along here. I'm just gonna bondle this in um, To make it all one piece, but uh, 
just not a not a friendly install kit um, but you know it is what it is it's uh still less work than the uh skyline conversion kit was that was a ton of work so this is kind of small compared to that so i mean the other thing we've done is i kind of primered up the hood got that ready for paint um like i said we're gonna we're gonna put the the aftermarket headlights i bought new headlights gonna put those in tape them up so they don't get wrecked and then um i think the front bumper might be the next thing i'm gonna tackle and then uh just keep going once this is all mocked up man i'm still between black and white as far as color for the car um it came down to those two colors just what i prefer i did and i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one but i'm not doing the typical eclipse spoiler like the super style super style big fin um i mean i like them but again i just want to do something a little bit different something that's not always done on these cars so um i got a megan racing spoiler uh it's in it's in pieces right now as you can see but it's your typical you know your typical aluminum spoiler um but yeah i decided to go that route and oh <laughs> excellent thing that happened and apparently it's uh pretty common with these cars door handle broke off when I was opening the driver's door. So, uh, ordered a new one of those. I was waiting for that to happen. Um, aside for, from that, as far as progress, I do have the tail lights, like the aftermarket tail lights as well for this car. And that's about it. The engine is just about ready. Uh, they, they just need the uh, turbo manifold that we're waiting on and the intake manifold and then they're gonna hook it up to the tuners gonna hook it up to an engine dyno break it in and then uh, I'll be dropping it back in the car and then take it down um, for them to just tune and get the electrical all all done up so it's coming along it's been a bit slow it just it's been insanely busy lately um, getting this second garage door in was a lot of work and just took a lot of time so this thing's kind of been on a little bit of a standstill which is why there's been no videos for a little while but uh it's going it's going good it's going good we'll have her done in no time no time but yeah just figured to give you an update so i'll get back at you when we're working on this uh front and rear bumper and once we've got some bondo going on and yeah see you on the next one